Uh, welcome everybody to another Monster Mash. This one is going to be a double header as we test out a new monster for this week and do a retest of a monster from last week that, uh, that had a bit of a struggle. <laughs> uh, I'm joined today by some of my usual testers and then uh, one exception to that, uh, and we'll get to that. So joining with me uh, as usual is... Shy, if you would like to introduce himself. Yes. Uh, as mentioned, I am Shy. Uh, yeah. Uh, for this test, for the first one here, I'm, uh, I'm going to be playing a character named uh, Reina. Uh, she is a wetlander lizard folk cleric of uh, Shaylin specifically. So, a little bit of love, a little bit of art, and... Uh, I intend to be very good at the healing thing. Very cool. She has very long hair for a, for a lizard. Yeah. She has hair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, any length of hair would be very long hair for a lizard. But Pinterest art is <laughs> Pinterest art. That's just how it goes, okay? <laughs> She's a synapsid. Right, I feel next. like there should be... I feel like there should be hair. I think it's fun. Maybe. Zach. Ahoy. Would you introduce yourself and your character? Hello, I'm Zach, one of Jake's friends in real life, and I am playing Leon Belmont, first of his name, uh, the OG, well, I guess not true OG, but chronologically the original Belmont character. And he's just a pretty simple put paladin build. Very cool. Right. Uh, next is the newcomer to Foundry. So we're going to go, be going a little bit slower just so he can uh, sort of get a hand, of, hand on it. Um, he just uploaded his character to it, so there's probably still some gaps in it. Uh, but my brother, my little brother Wyatt, is joining us. So those that you know from know me from the Discord... This is one of the reasons why I am Big Brother on there. Uh, Wyatt, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. Hey there, uh, my name's Wyatt. Um, oh, today I'll be playing Dirge. She is an Azarkedi Thaumaturge with the mirror and weapon implements. Um, just hoping to do a little damage. Alright. And then last but not least is Decaf. Hello. Yep, I am Decaf. Uh, today, for those of you who tune in to our normally every other Sunday game, the Turngrave Affair, I'm actually pulling out my lizard folk Silas, who is now, for this playtest, a ninth level druid with Geomancer dedication. Should be fun. Geomancer is a very cool uh, archetype. I actually just used that in a full build Friday I'm working on. Too bad he's going to die at level two. <laughs> Too bad he's going to die at level one. How dare you have high expectations for him? <laughs> <laughs> well, in this universe, he at least has survived. And along with three other companions, suggesting maybe that he's the only one that makes it, um, he has been dispatched. Foretell. He has been dispatched <laughs> to a desolate village that several months ago asked for help from adventurers uh, and only now has gotten a response you the four of you have come to find the village abandoned and as you poke through you find signs of of occasional struggle you find some blood here and there but other than that there is no clue as to what happened as you follow the scant trail that there is you find yourself nearing the edge of town which devolves into a boggy marsh that should look familiar to some of you <laughs> and it is here that 
the land around you looks despoiled and rotten. And as you all draw near uh, the blackened water of this particular reservoir, bubbles emerge and an immense toad surfaces. A human arm dangles from the toad of this mouth before it throws back its jaws, swallowing it and fixes a beady black gaze upon you. The uh, <laughs> caster of a cleric would like to imagine that they're not up front. One, two. Uh, I, yeah. I did ask if everybody's where they want to be. I did not remember hearing that, so I apologize. Yeah, I kind of blanked on that, too. Failed perception checks are not the DM's fault. Failed perception <laughs> checks in real life. Yeah. Well, that's screwed. I have a negative wisdom IRL. That's not fair. Yes, you do. <laughs> if you guys would like, can confirm. <laughs> if you guys would like to adjust yourself slightly, you may. Would you be willing to unpause? Certainly. Okay. You are now free to move about the cabin. Mind the <laughs> cabin. <laughs> oh, God. Not that no. far. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think right about there. If we'll everybody's in position, yes. we are going to go. And a nice Tetris piece. <laughs> oh, you ruined it. <sighs> this is shy. no Tetris piece I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, gosh, could you imagine? All right. Tetris, but with new pieces. The encounter tracker is up. <laughs> Everybody should roll for initiative. I think that's what Poyo is. Ooh, Leon in the lead. False. I was about to say about that. Silas. And leave it to me to try and always go last. Let's freaking go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some good rolls from the party here. Um, Leon and Dirge, you guys can decide between oh, each you. other who wants to go first. Um, Want a Rochambeau for it? Um, I yeah, know you can go first if you want. Alright. Okay. Well, before either of you get to act, Silas is in the lead. So Silas, you see this immense frog emerge, and the land around it looks rotted. Get it? What would you like to do? I would like it to uh, hopefully not be the cause of the rotting land. Uh, but, you know... I don't like how uh, previously close it is, so we're just going to start off by keeping it away by shuffling uh, myself this way, <laughs> and then we're going to cast a wall of ice. Ooh, okay. Where are we putting this wall? Uh, let me see here. Oh, it doesn't have me prompted to... Draw a, a line. Oh, like yeah. some of the others do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, how do I target well, this? Uh, <laughs> uh, there is, if you go to measurement controls, there is a rectangle yes. template. Controls, rectangle template. Beautiful. And it is 60, 60 feet, long. feet in length. Jesus. Beautiful. We are going to. <laughs> I will say uh, deliberately shoehorn this thing into a singular pathway. Uh, so we're going to start here. Just cut the map in half. Oh, that is... You could also <laughs> make a one foot thick, ten foot radius hemisphere hemisphere of ice. That is also true. Do I want to trap it? No, I don't want to trap it. That'd be me. <laughs> I mean, a 60 foot l l l line of ice is still going to trap me. I'm not sure this map can handle 15. that. 20, 25, 30. You don't have to put the whole thing on the map. 45, 40, 45, 50, 60. Yeah. Okay, so it would technically go all the way to here. So yes, it can only come down the one direction. If I <laughs> drop this rectangle uh -oh. here, the line essentially goes that way. Oh, diagonally. Okay, let me... Oh, you know what? I just found a ray template. Let me see if that works. Ooh. Okay. Still discovering new things. Like that. Oh, I like that. Okay, so now how do I delete this other one? Um, Under the same tool that you use to draw, you should be able to click on it and delete it. I got it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that, and then 
with that last action to cast that wall, I'm going to do a free action that follows this. Could go to here, I guess. That's 60 feet right there. All right. I would just like to point out that you made a wall, and huh? this thing is a frog. I said, nope, now, don't like that. Now, I do want to just <laughs> actually question real quick. Because I'm looking at the cast time for this wall of ice, and it does say three. Oh, you're right. It was three actions. So never mind. I wouldn't have moved. Right. That's on me. I forgot the action on this one. I'm All so good. used to those two action spells. <laughs> That walls are, gen are walls are generally three. They're they can block That's stuff hard. off. Okay, then so I you attune yourself to cold or uh, arctic, right? So what does uh, that yep, give you? Cold slash arctic. Uh, so what this will do is for my subsequent cold spells or cold trait spells. Uh, if I hit the enemy, they take a minus five foot status penalty to their speed for two rounds on a fortitude ah, save. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Well, with that, it is That's Leon's cool. turn. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is... You just got made. Oh. Frosty oh, Wall no, of Ice a... rises up before you. I guess I already had it drawn, so I will <laughs> actually draw my weapon. Okay. And then, let's see. Um, I guess I will move to here. Okay. To essentially try to body block it. Yeah, you start moving around to the side for your second action. And then behind this final. wall of ice to the great creature that lies beyond. <laughs> Final action, I would like to do some kind of recall check before I quickly lose sight of the creature. Yeah. Um, what uh, What do you have? Um, I am trained in occultism and religion. Mm. What, what lures do you have? Uh, none. Okay. You... You can try religion. Okay. Thirty. Oh, neat. Yeah. Not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's nothing spiritual about this frog. It is not a holy frog. <laughs> Dirge. It is your not turn. Not yet. All right. So is the. I take it like the ice isn't translucent or transparent. Like, I can't the see the ice uh, that makes up frog. the wall is opaque. Opaque. Okay. So, uh, I guess first action, I'll draw her trident. And she'll move 5, 10. If. Where would I. Where would you want me to move? Like, if I moved here, would I be able to get a clear line of sight on this thing to make a check against it? Let me see. Uh, you absolutely have a clear sight on it right there. Uh, there's a bit of a okay. tree. But that's fine. <laughs> okay. And then with my last action, then I'm going to attempt to um, exploit vulnerability. Okay. Using my esoteric lore. All right. Oh, I thought I would just roll it. Okay. Nope. So, yep. Make an esoteric oh. lore check. There it's a standard go. DC for its level. Okay. <laughs> Flaming Techno suggests that this frog might uh, frequent our atheism. <laughs> oh. <laughs> going by uh, going by Belmont's observation. <laughs> Damn. All right. So the frog appears to be a redditor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that is a failure. The worst Ooh. kind of them all. Um, you can exploit only the creature's personal antithesis. All right, so that's where I believe I have to make a like I make a weakness for it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, kind of, wow. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so essentially, you you see this frog, and maybe you recall maybe you recall like a story. 
of uh of how like people would chase away frogs like there was a plague of frogs and you you remember a tale about how they did so and so reaching into your pouch you draw out uh symbols that represent the story to ward against this toad okay and, and we'll that is my last we will see if that works as the toad acts with a bellowing ribbit it begins to move as I draw another ray because I am accidentally still on this selection. It fires out a fire ray. <laughs> Dope. Oh god. Could you imagine? <laughs> a fire breathing frog in Pathfinder? Yeah, I could imagine that very easily. <laughs> Listen here, you. <laughs> <laughs> the frog skirts around the tree, hopping and splashing through the mud using its swim speed to avoid the difficult terrain that it would otherwise be. As it moves and draws closer to you guys, you see the ground beneath it uh, wilt and turn sour. And at about that range, it is going to stop. And it is going to eeny meeny miny mo. So let's go odds are Belmont, evens are Dirge. Yay! And we're coming at Belmont. A tongue lashes mm -hmm. out with tremendous Kinky. force. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, with a, yeah, a 39 hit. to hit. <laughs> oh my. This <laughs> tongue slams into you like a Crazy. battering ram. I forgot to hit critical, but you will take... So just take double, double. that. Boop. 36 points Ow. of damage. And then... You are grabbed by it. Now this is a special kind of grabbed. Uh, this is the creature's tongue grab. So you're not right. immobilized. Uh, but you can't move just beyond the reach of its tongue. All right, I'm fine with that. Oh, weird. Then this toad sets its stance, sort of like lowering its body as it digs its claws into the blackened earth beneath it. And it almost seems like gulp as it reels you in with a tongue drag. Bring it. So it is going to attempt an athletics check against your fortitude DC. How's that compare? Wait. Uh, it's just 10 plus the number? Yep. So that's a fail. I have a 28. Alright, so he's, he you get slammed by this tongue, and it nearly knocks you off your feet. But as this thing tries to like pull you towards it, you manage to find your footing, planting it, and standing firm against this thing. With that, it is Reyna's turn. So I have a quick starting question. No. Divine Lance. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Okay. Is you it still to... its normal damage, or are we doing <laughs> the new damage here? <laughs> uh, it is still a aggressive detect alignment spell for now. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Yep. Um, cool. It's, it is still the vibe check spell. Then <laughs> <laughs> it's a very aggressive vibe check, and I love it for that alone uh but all right um then uh i think what i'm s instead gonna do uh would you say we were prepared for combat in any way i'm not certain you guys were investigating this like abandoned hamlet we did see blood you did i i couldn't i could accept it everybody else okay. seems to have been operating under the presumption that they were not expecting combat given that the two marshals drew their weapons Fair enough. I can do that. Uh, Alright, then in that case, I will start by drawing my Staff of Healing. Okay. And then I will just go ahead and lead with a Fear Spell. Ooh. Targeting the Frog. Okay. Let's see what you got. DC 27 will. Let's see what I got. Not great. Mm. Not great, Bob. Frightened too. <laughs> okay. Now it's a Scared Frog. 
It is a scared frog. Give me a fourth frog. All right. Uh, and right off so the that bat, that's my turn. All three actions. Very quick. Quickest turn you've ever taken. Silas. <laughs> Facts, though. <laughs> Do you blame me? The we are gonna... atheistic frog has tangled one of your allies in its tongue. <laughs> that is awful. And as it draws closer, you notice a fedora oh. perched atop its between its uh, ridged <laughs> brows. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Well, <laughs> moss clings to its uh, to its bottom jaw, looking somewhat like a neck beard. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. That's so good. All right, I'm gonna move over here for one action. You also have a katana on his neck. He does I actually. So. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Oh my god, I love it. Well, just for that, we have to kill this thing. So I will then <laughs> cast Impaling Spike. <laughs> Oof, okay. Okay, this is a reflex save. Yes, sir. So let's see how reflexive this frog is. Again, not very. That Frighten is not helping it. All right, so it'll take right. uh, full damage from this. And become immobilized as you impale it on it. Jesus. That All right. <laughs> I guess we're having a frog legs. Mm. Ooh. All right, the spike stabs into the creature's side, piercing it in place. And it is Leon's turn. Leon, as your turn begins, first things mm -hmm. first, the ground beneath you is rotted. And as you can feel yourself like sinking into it, you take three points of poison damage. All right. You. Ground's a little spicy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess what I'm going to do is going to just be a pretty simple turn. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to. Start whipping my sword around as it stretches out because it's a sword whip. And I'm going to ah. try to slash the frog. Okay. Oof, Oof. How would that roll? Yeah, that unfortunately will be a miss. Man, only. I've come around? That was a two on the die. Wow. Ah, yeah, but boom. there you go. <laughs> All right, your sword whip lashes out, slicey, cutting into the flesh. Of this great beast. And I guess for my final action, I will try to break the tongue off of me. Now, this escape action is going to have a minus 10 because escape does have the attack trait. Alrighty. Unless you're, unless you mean you're just cutting at the tongue. Uh, no, nah, I'll try to break out. Okay, so it's going to be athletics, acrobatics, or an unarmed attack roll. Athletics, and how do I make it my third roll thing? Uh, you just roll, we'll subtract, and I will compare it to the DC. Okay. All right, so an 18 is a failure. Alrighty. It's actually a critical failure, which doesn't have much matter on the last action of your turn. <laughs> Dirge, it is your turn. So, as I mentioned, Wyatt is new to this. So, Wyatt, uh, one thing you do in this game is when you want to target something, like with an attack, you hover uh -huh. over it, and you can press T to target it. Oh, okay. And so when you roll an attack, it will automatically like go against that creature's AC and stuff. Okay. Alright. Um, cool. And then, then you are also in this rotted earth aura. And so you will take three poison damage as well. Okay. No. You have three actions on your... Oh, what you can do? Okay, yep, you figured it out. Yeah. Good job. Proud of you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to You're my to favorite move. brother who's within five years of age of me. I'm gonna move that up sounds to here. very specifically chosen. Um, 
so I want to do mirrors reflection. Yeah, flaming from techno. Me. If you just hover over people, I actually even forget how to do it the other way. You just hover over people and press T, and it targets them. I think a uh, double right click also works. Can yep. confirm because that's Not ten, that tends to be what I do. Not for me, because it causes me to open up your token configurations. <laughs> oh, that's because you technically have control. Like, if I were to right-click yes. myself, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. But if it's a token I don't control, then a double right-click works. Yep. But all right. Uh, Dirge strides forward, pushing through the muck. And as you do, you're wading further and deeper into this poison land. And so for each square you move into you take another three poison damage. Moved what, two? Yep, so another two six poison two. damage. Okay. And at this point, I feel like I can now share uh, what this is. It is the Gitrog Monster's Spoiled Ground aura. Ugh. Nice. Oh, also, this is a difficult terrain. You still have the movement to get up there, so no big issue. Okay. And then um, I'm going to use my uh, was Mirror's Reflection to create a copy of myself across from me on the other side to provide flanking. Very cool. Uh, so what and I can then... do real quick is just create... Bloop. And we'll kill that one of you later. <laughs> Okay. And then, um, yeah, I will strike at it. Right, and we'll see if this actually applies flanking. Oh, boy. No. Right, can I, uh, do you, you have, have a hero point? Do you have a hero yeah. point? Okay, so what you can actually do is if you go over to where this is in the chat, you can right click on it, and an option will come up to re roll using a hero point. Uh, on the roll in the chat. Yep, there you go. There you go. That is a hit. <laughs> All right. And then I just click damage there, I take it? Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, and it's got implements empowerment in there already, it says. Yes. All right, so I can yeah. just go ahead and take that damage. All right, this monster appears fairly tanky, but you guys are whittling it down. Uh, I do believe that is all the reactions from you, though. You moved up, you used your mirror, and you attacked. Yep. Which means it is my monster's turn. And you know what, Zack? Yeah. It is going to let you go. Yeah, you know, I'm actually not surprised. Its tongue so thing, rolls back into its mouth. So this thing's name is not Rick Ansley? It is not. It is not. Then, it is going to turn its dark eyes upon Dirge. Upon the one that just struck it. And it is going to go... Or a jaw strike against him. So it bites down at you. And misses. Ooh. Alright, for its next action, it sort of settles back on its haunches. And you see its, uh, its, its throat inflate before it unleashes a croak that echoes eerily through this marsh. As it does, I need everybody to attempt a DC 29 will save. So, Wyatt, what you should DC be able to... DC 27. DC 27. Uh, Wyatt, what you should be able to do is, if you have your character selected, you should just be able to click on that will save in there, and it'll roll against it. Ooh. Well, that's going to get re-rolled. <laughs> Team. Okay. Wow. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. That's like getting flicked in both of your nuts. The one thing I'm supposed to be good at. <laughs> All right. So, Leon, you are unaffected. Silas, you failed by one, which means you are unfortunately frightened too. Oh. No. Okay. Fuck. Uh, and let me make sure. Bam. Okay. Um. I'm fleeing. Dirge, you also failed, but not critically. And you actually, you okay. did it. You, the only reason you didn't critically fail is because of the frightened condition. Oh, shit. I <laughs> saved someone. So good job, Rain. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if I only I could do that for myself. Yeah. Yeah. Was yep. the was that action a... Did oh, I'm frightened the, uh... too now. You, yes. Yeah, it should be frightened too. Frightened too. Yep, all creatures within 30 feet become frightened too. The two's just written in there uh, because I am still figuring out formatting and stuff. Oh, okay, fair enough. I do want to ask, um, did that have the concentrated manipulate actions? Uh, it had the auditory, emotion, fear, and mental traits. Okay. So it unleashes his bellow. And now... Having you on more even ground, it is going to try to bite you again. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's what it's going to do. Nope, no, it's not. <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be one of those yeah. nights. Okay, well, at least so, I'm not the only one suffering it. Yeah, <laughs> so when you're fleeing, does that take your whole turn? Oh, yeah. Great. All right. Well, I move 90 feet off the map. <laughs> well, and don't I don't suffer from difficult terrain. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm a swamp lizard. That's, that is great. Yeah, same. That well, is, yeah. So, that means you won't suffer difficult terrain. terrain coming back. back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> All right. And hey, at the end of your round, your frightening goes down by one. <laughs> Silas. Mountain stand You all just saw rain a bolt. Well, that does remind me, I don't play League of Legends anymore, but that does remind me of an interaction where this guy will, like, he'll do his alt, and it makes him, like, invisible to slows, and if you fear him, he runs full speed in the other direction, because fear normally includes a slow, <laughs> but he's immune to the slow, but not the fear. That's funny. Rip. Yep. All right. Uh, it is Silas. Silas, this thing let out a croak that you felt deep in your bones. What I would you like to do? Hate it. That is a great question. Uh, not continue to be near it. That'd be great. Um, but you're not near it. Yep. Well, we're just going to, you know, hope that it stays immobilized. But more importantly, I just don't want it to come anywhere near me. <laughs> In specific, so I'm gonna sidestep this way, and then I'm going to hope that, you know, in case it does become mobile again, uh, that I can keep it away All by right, casting Gust of Wind. Still immobilized. A 60 foot line. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and it is going to attempt a fortitude oh. save. I'm sorry. Make sure I have the right thing selected. All right, it succeeds. So it can't move against the wind. Just stay over there. Shy, you, you can't see anybody because you're off the map. You're in the void. I know. <laughs> can, you, can you even see your character? I can see the map and I can see my character, but everyone that's on the map's <laughs> disappeared. So I've. <laughs> that's funny. That's just fun. All right. That is Silas. So Silas, your frightened does go down, and it will be Leon's turn. All right. Um, since everyone's casting spells, I guess Leon will get in on this. Uh, his whip will shoot out a beam of fire as he tries to sunblade this thing. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and make a spell attack roll. That's not Ooh. great. Yeah, no, that um, that the beam roars overhead, missing the creature. All right. Well, this next spell won't miss. 
Where is it? Shy is about to no clip into the back rooms. <laughs> As I do not inflict my, that upon me, please. <laughs> activate my glowing tattoo and cast shield on myself. Oh, okay. All right. That it brings work. it back around to Dirge. Now, for the mirror oh. implement, do you have to like sustain it? Um. No, it uh, disappears uh, at the start of my next turn. Okay. So it is gone now. Okay. And but I was going to say, don't even take it away because I'm doing it again. <laughs> and there. Right. And then we'll just attack. So for one action, you recreate this this image. This reflection of yourself. And you strike out against the Gitrog monster, landing a blow. Okay. Right. For another 22 points of damage. Exact same amount you dealt last time. And um, let's just attack it again. Okay. So attack number two, make sure you're clicking that. Ooh, critical miss. Oh, shit. You strike out, just stabbing into the muck. And it almost seems to chortle at your failure. As you take three poison damage. Alright. Alright, end of your turn. You can uh, right-click your frightened condition up in the corner there to reduce, its, uh, reduce it by one. There we go. Then it is the monster's turn. So, you know what? It doesn't like you hitting it. So it's going to look deep into your eyes. Longingly. Oh dear. Lovingly. <laughs> and as it stares, you almost, it feels like you can see its pupils, like its, its irises moving and shifting. And, and strange scintillating patterns. And as they do, you must attempt a will save. Okay. Fuck. Hmm. Alright, uh, that is a success, but not a critical success, leaving you... But, resolve. Um, resolve. I have, whenever I roll a success on a will save, I get a critical success instead. Okay. Please. Dang, you get that by level 9? Holy cow. I, an ability. I didn't even notice. Alright, I'm gonna fucking bite you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hits exactly. In response, Retribute. Okay. Is he within... Yep, 15 feet. You're good to go. And so and he will get champion's resistance, so we'll apply that to him real quick. <laughs> and go ahead and make your attack. Critical hit. Oh, wow. So go ahead in there and hit critical. Oh, or I will just take double. Oh no, you did hit critical. Yep. Alright, you lash out. Uh, leaving this creature flat-footed for a round because I assume. Actually, do you have a what's a, what's your divine ally? Uh, it is the blade ally. All right, yeah. so then yeah, this you would have the critical specialization for it. So he is flat-footed oh, for yeah. a round because it's a sword, and he is now <laughs> bloodied. Um, but Wyatt, back to you. So you have that mm -hmm. resilience, but you are going to take. 27 points of damage. Yikes. Okay. So it should be if you... I've got the champion's resistance on you. So if you just go ahead and click damage, it should automatically apply that. Okay. So make sure you've got your character selected. Then click the little damage, the broken heart icon. Gotcha. Mm hmm all right, looks like it might not have worked. 
Okay. So. Uh, so it'd be you would have give yourself eleven hit points back. Okay. And then, then, I need you to make a fortitude save. Um, I will mention I have with my mirror adept benefit. Um, so when my mirror self is damaged, it shatters into punishing shards. Um, oh, that's very cool. Yeah, so it deals uh, slashing damage to all creatures in a five-foot emanation around where my mirror self was, which I'll choose the one that was on the other end of everyone, and it'll be two plus half my level. So four, so six total. So, so does it? So you get to choose which is the real you, essentially. Like yes. Okay. Now, if this was so do you still like take the damage and the effects yes yeah okay it just shatters as well all right so how much damage uh six six okay uh and then i need you to make that fortitude save and we're shattering this one up here yes oof that is beautiful, and more than beautiful, that is a critical failure. Which means you are at stage two. I'll try to come help, I promise. <laughs> All right. I gotta that, run back, though. That is the monster's turn as, it, as its turn ends, as Frank goes down again. And it is Reyna's turn. You hear splashing as Reyna comes running back. <laughs> Silas. <laughs> Look, an even I faster turn. <laughs> uh, uh, and Reyna actually right. should no longer be frightened then. Or fleeing. Nope. Damn. You can remove both of those. Well, we're just going to continue to stay away. <laughs> and then we're going to cast the longest range spell I have. Ray of Frost. The Ray of Frost. <laughs> Classic. Your character. I'm not sure if you're uh -huh. going to build actual Silas this way, but you seem so fixated on just slowing down the enemy. Oh, it's definitely my thing. <laughs> yeah. I feel like every spell you, has, you have cast has been slowing down the enemy. I also blame you uh -huh. for why this fight is stuck in this goddamn corner. <laughs> we have an entire yeah. goddamn map. <laughs> Just so viewers know, hey, we have an Bibi. entire map up here, and they won't let me use Bibi. it because they fucking funneled him into this tiny ass corner. I I used what? more than the map. I went off the map. <laughs> you could have run up the map though. I run away from the creature. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and make your spell attack. <laughs> that unfortunately it's is a miss. miss since it is no longer frightened. Oh, it is flat-footed, flat but that is still not enough. That's fair. Leon. Um, I guess pretty simple round. Just gonna start whipping out at the frog. That is a hit. That is exactly a hit. Oh, a little bit more than exact because of your crit. All right, it takes another nine slashing damage. Oh, wow. That would have been a crit if it had been your first one. <laughs> there you go. There's some nice damage. 17. One and action remaining. All, all for the money. <laughs> no. Nope. No. No. Dirge. The Transformer. Okay. It is your turn. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for a Mirror's Reflection again. Okay. Um, you once more Intense. summon a false version of yourself. And then I'm also going to intensify vulnerability, which is as long as I'm benefiting from exploit vulnerability, I can see the subject, and I haven't used exploit vulnerability this round. Um, I gain the intensified vulnerability benefit from my mirror, which will make me concealed to him. Ooh, very oh, wow. nice. And then I'll just attack. 
Okay. So as you create this reflection of yourself, um, the images shift and become distorted, making it hard for it to focus on you. You strike out, your blow landing true. Ooh. Go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. And that should, I don't know, um, are you applying the uh, vulnerability damage as well? Uh. How much more is that? Let me Because you've, you've had Implements Empowerment going on. So, there's that, but, um, let me see this. So yeah, so personal antithesis, um, when I have to use that, uh, this causes the uh, target to take or to gain a weakness to my unarmed weapon strikes equal to two plus half my level. So an additional six. Okay. Well, if you'd remember that earlier, he might be dead. Went. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops. Uh, you have no actions remaining. It is the monster's turn. You do take three poison damage. And Zach, you also took the three poison damage. I forgot to mention. <sighs> you know what? It's got you stupefied too. Oh, actually, Wyatt, at the end of your turn, you need to attempt. So, first off, you take 2d8 poison damage. Okay. So, another three points of poison damage. And then, you need to make a Fortitude save. Okay. Fortitude save. And you can just click that DC 27 Fortitude. If you have your character selected. Alright, so you go, uh, you go to stage 1. So you're down to Stupefied 1. Boy, don't even bother. You know what? I think he saw you defend your friend last time. So here's what's going to happen. Zach. Yes? Give me a will save. Alrighty. Boop. Boop. Alright. You don't have resolve, do you? Uh, I guess not. You are confused for one round. Which is very well, handy. That's bad news bears for me. Yeah, this creature like gives you stares into your eyes, and you become lost, and you feel yourself almost you almost drawn to it to to obey its will. But you manage to shake off that feeling, but not enough. Then we're gonna do another bite on Dirge, since he's right there. Alrighty. Or not. So I feel like numbers-wise, this creature is probably fine. He just can't roll above a five. You know what? That's what we're going to go with. Well, that's what, that's what oh, I, shit. <laughs> All right. I spent my villain point I like for, for the Gitrog monster. <laughs> All right, you take 62 points of damage. Jesus. So, Dirge, about that HP you just told me about. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna change. He's all right. <laughs> no, oh. he's not. Uh, well, you'll and... take a. That will shatter the mirror, and causing you to take another six. Okay. And the good news here is that Leon can't save you this time because he doesn't treat you as an ally. <laughs> because he's gonna. That's true. Yeah, 62 damage. I rolled I rolled pretty well on the die. Does it actually tell you what you rolled? I wish it did. I've never had luck with that. Yeah, I can't tell. Uh, I clicked on it and I think it's Inspect roll. roll. I, I can't tell. Oh, no, right. two nines. You literally just click on it and it drops it, yeah. Does it? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yep. Double nines plus a 13. All right, Reyna. It is your turn. Well... You know, 
<laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to start off by doing a meta magic. Okay. Called Martyr. Ooh. Oh, basically, actually, I'm using some of my own health to heal you more. <laughs> oh. Okay. As I cast a two action heal on R. you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, two action heal versus the living. Songbirds sing, and artistic flourishes sweep through the air as Reyna um, channels the divinity of Shaylin straight into your wounds. 5d8 on top of whatever is rolled. Noise. Right. So, oh have 99 HP. What the fuck? All right. What? As I take 29 damage. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Yeah, that puts me at full health. <laughs> I was going to say, how you feeling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Rain that's Oops. not... Well, Raina dies. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> Truly a martyr. <laughs> Let's try that see, again. See Raina I... pass on this healing as she just explodes in ludicrous gibbs. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I could have just hit damage on the... Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. That would make sense. All right. Well, with that, it is back to Silas. Okie dokie. Well, um... Silas, a good blow could finish this thing. Its wounds are mortal. Can you end this combat? Yep. Since you're asking... Uh, and to follow up from last turn in your inquiry about my building of Silas to slow enemies down, I will <laughs> happily continue to stay far away and I will cast my focus spells. I'm not Stone even lights. showing you on the map anymore. <laughs> I've got you covered up by the character sheet. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, go ahead and make your attack. You can draw a jagged lance of stone and then launch it at a foe. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> hey, guess what? That was only two actions, so we're just going to... It impales Dirge. <laughs> yeah, dealing 99 points of damage. <laughs> All right, Leon. You are confused, my friend. Yes. First thing Hi. I would like you to do is roll a d3. And we're just going to go clockwise. So it'll be a one. Whoops. Sorry. This, I guess, is what I should be doing. All <laughs> right. You're going after Reyna. All right. Your ass is Yay! mine. So go ahead and make a strike against Reyna. Make sure you're targeting her. We, uh, can we not and say we did? I'll let him roll for Die, each target. Frog. <laughs> All right, this bladed, <laughs> the sword Ow. whip lashes out, cutting Reyna for only nine points of damage. You'll be fine. You'll live forever. Oh, uh, I'm not selected. There we go. Roll another D three. <laughs> Two. All right, so you need to move and then attack Silas. Also take three poison Wait. damage. The frog isn't part of the confused options? Oh, you know what? You're right. It should have been a d4. Go ahead and roll a d4. Save me, giant frog. <laughs> All right, never mind. You're attacking Dirge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Die, frog. <laughs> Oof. Wait. Wait, that was still targeting Reyna, but yeah. Oh, uh, well. Yes, I mean, Reyna would like to not be hit, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. uh, so, oh! Wait, no, I was at max. Never mind. Alright, and give me one last uh, one last d4 roll. <laughs> Two. 
All right, now move towards Silas. All right, and that is your turn. Dirge, can you finish Sorry. this fight? <laughs> Um, I think so. So, we'll just start off with two attacks. Um, one. Wow, okay. if you'd done your, if you'd created your mirror self, that would have been a critical success. God damn it. <laughs> 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 so go ahead and... Roll damage. All right, 22. Whoops. I had you selected. <laughs> you damaged yourself uh, in, you damaged yourself in Le Leon's confusion. <laughs> um, and then it'll take another six. It is so yes. close to death. And then we'll just make another attack. And miss. <sighs> Okay, and One I know I'm not going to have much Um, I don't think I have anything I can just do damage with, so... Um, just going to intensify vulnerability to make me concealed again. Okay. And did you take your three poison damage? I did not. Alright, make sure you do that. And then it is the monster's turn. Oh wait, actually, sorry, before that, you have to roll a fortitude save. Yes. No, no. <laughs> All right, you go to stage yeah. three. What now, is happening over there? I do think the way it Good works. Good thing I healed you, I guess. Jeez. I've I have to do, I have to double double check how afflictions work. You know what? What do you mean? No, I I definitely I messed up how they worked because you you uh, if it if it deals affliction, you roll the damage at when you gain that stage. Yeah, upon entering the stage. Yep, so I should have rolled it when he first got hurt, and I forgot to do so. But, uh, you were at stage one, you're gonna go right down to stage three. And take 20 points of poison damage. <laughs> oh boy. And become yeah, stupefied one again. I healed again. you plenty, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Good the thing you did. The monster's turn. Facts. And I will succeed at this. Before the end of this encounter, as he goes for another strike. Nope. Mm. All Awkward. Right. All right, so he uh, hurts himself from his confusion and kills himself. He is going to do a tongue strike. We'll just do it this way. All right, that'll hit you. For 23 points of bludgeoning damage. And then, because you are adjacent to the Gitrog monster, and you are grabbed by its tongue, it is going to go ahead and swallow whole. I see. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And so, to do so, it is going to attempt an athletics check versus your reflex DC. But... This athletics check will be at a minus 10. So this is probably going to fail. That is a 22 versus your reflex DC. And then where do I find my reflex DC on this? It is your reflex bonus plus 10. And oh, your uh, and you reflex bonus should be over on the side on the left of the character sheet. So DC is 25. Oh. All right, so that is a fail. So it gets you with its tongue and it tries to drag you into its hideous maw. But despite suffering from the poison, you resist. And it is Reyna's turn. Can she finish off this frog? Well, flat check. Oh, vibe check. <laughs> uh, no, we are not going to vibe check it. 
we're just going to see that uh, Silas did a ray of frost earlier, and she's going to pull from her druid dedication that she has, and she's going to do the same. <laughs> okay. Have at it. Uh, target. Target. Why you no target? Oh, because... Hang on. I found out. There we go. Hiya. All right, go ahead and make that attack roll. No, no. You know, I think that missed. It did. Um, fascinating. What else would you like to do? I'm gonna pull out my shield. Okay, Silas. It is up to you. <laughs> You're the I only one left. Will command. <laughs> How sad. I will command the earth to om nom nom. Okay. As I cast crushing ground. All right. The Gitrog monster will attempt a reflex save, hampered by the spear still stuck in its side, and will succeed exactly. Ooh. Okay. So it will still take half damage, yeah. and 33 is enough to slay the Gitrog monster. Nice. That sees the end of our first encounter. Uh, <laughs> do you have to head out, Wyatt? I think uh, I probably should. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah. It was a pleasure having you here. Good fun. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll catch you next yeah. time. Two more men. For the rest of you. Yes. Uh, we're going to discuss this monster. So if you guys go over to the monster folder, you should be able to open up the Gitrog monster. I already said it, that you guys can do so. I did see that. Yep. I did not see that. Oh, nope, that's the grit dog. It's the wrong monster. <laughs> that, is actually, <laughs> that is actually why I built this guy. Because I posted somewhere, you know, oh, we're, we're monster mashing the grit dog. And somebody was like, <laughs> I thought that said Gitrog for a second. I was like, you know what? Let's add him to the list. So someday that it can. Nice. <laughs> I like it. So we'll just do a quick little discussion on the numbers here. Uh, and actually, you know what? I'll, well, we'll start with a sort of background for this creature. So the Gitrog monster hails from the game of Magic the Gathering. Within Magic, it is represented by three cards. The original is the Gitrog monster, a legendary uh, frog horror that is 6-6 six, six with death touch. Each turn, you must sacrifice a land or sacrifice him. He also allows you to play additional lands, and you draw a card whenever you put a land into the graveyard. Exclusive to Magic the Gathering Arena is Gitrog Hara of Zava, another 6-6 six, six frog Hara, but this time with Menace instead of Death Touch. Uh, on the start of combat, enemies may sacrifice a creature to tap Gitrog and, give you, and allow you to draw land, and lands that enter the battlefield while he's there gain the ability to be sacrificed to draw a card. The final card that represents him is Thalia and the Gitrog monster, which is actually him being ridden by a uh, human woman. So he is, in that card, he is a 4-4 human frog horror with first strike and death touch that lets you play additional lands, causes your enemies, creatures, and lands to enter the battlefield tapped, and whenever he attacks, you can sacrifice a creature or land to draw one. Now, naturally, I wanted to focus a little bit more on his singular cards. Um, so, representing his poison, we obviously have the Gitrog Venom. Uh, this uses a moderate DC for his level. Uh, it's actually a little bit, a little bit above moderate. It's between moderate and high, but leans more towards moderate. Um, and I just. I think in general, that's how you should structure poisons. Um, toads, naturally, have poisons. However, their poison doesn't deal poison damage. It just causes a stupefied condition, which I was totally fine with because that meshes well with other parts of his kit. Um, so that represents death touch. 
Uh, Menace uh, is represented by his menacing croak. You know, causing you guys to be frightened, sending you fleeing, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a 6-6, six, six, which is fairly beefy. So I made him a level 10 creature. Uh, so for those of you watching, this was an easy encounter, which is typically how I test these things. Uh, numbers wise, and you guys tell me how it all felt to you, but he uses a moderate armor class. His hit points are high for his level. His fortitude save is high. His will save is low. And his reflex save is terrible. I mean, a frog with a maybe. terrible reflex? Yep, because he Weird. feels he, more like a toad. He is he is a toad, and he overeats. Mm. He a fat boy. I felt that it was a. Uh, it felt pretty fine for an easy encounter. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No, I. I did think as I was rolling, because I'll also go into his attacks a little bit. Um, his jaws use a... Uh, it's actually in between moderate and low bonus. However, they deal high damage. Whereas his tongue has a high attack bonus and deals moderate damage. All right. Um, both his jaws, so his jaws have grab, which means he does have to spend an action to grab somebody, whereas his tongue's tongue grab means that they are automatically grabbed if he hits. Um, I do actually want to change the wordage of tongue drag. So, if the Gitrog monster has a creature grabbed with its tongue, and that creature is adjacent to it. It can use swallow hole on the creature as though it had it grabbed in its jaws. I'm just cleaning up wording there a little bit. Uh, um, some other stuff to call out. It does have its spoiled ground. And so this was my idea on how to represent the land destruction. Because that is something very hard to do otherwise. Yeah. yeah. But what do you guys think? I mean, oh, that was pretty nice. I was going to say... Uh, I like the the spoiled ground. I think that was a fun way to handle like the land destruction, constantly having to sacrifice land. Mm-hmm. Um, but also the fact, because I'm assuming the land is fine after he leaves it, because it's that's kind of how it seems. For Zara, yes. Just because I thought it was yeah. like it was, it's way too much to have it be like this remains this way for one minute after he leaves it. Yeah, and and you know the player can with the base card at least continuously summon more lands due to him as well. It's it's a strange yeah. mix. So I actually yeah. I think that's a great way to handle that. I have a different concern. Okay. Oh, there's an ability dominating piece. Yes. So that is actually based not on any of his cards, but with the release of his cards and his set and everything, they released a short story that featured him. And he actually has the ability to control people through his eyes. Oh my god, he's Hypnotoad! He is. Yeah, he I is. You were making, we, just making a Hypnotoad reference. We mentioned that actually in the uh, in the Monster Monday Discord. But yeah, he in the short story called Sacrifice, he hypnotizes a woman to like stab her best friend to death and then feed him to her. What the amazing f- brick? So it's like, oh. yeah. So this does use a full-on moderate save because they den- they do suggest don't go below moderate for like a save. Yeah. But I. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? On it. Okay. What do you, What are your thoughts? 
I think overall, I think it's cool. Mm-hmm. I have a concern about the critical failure and the fact that they don't have a chance to become immune outside of on a critical success. I personally felt it was fine because it used a low will save. I thought you said it was moderate. Moderate, which it's as, is a, as low as it gets. Which, yeah, it, it still, but like if you, if you think like yeah, as a cleric, I have I have a high will, but I mean we saw how I rolled with just the fear thing. Um, <laughs> your luck. Yeah, but like. That would have the possibility of sending, let's say, if someone was the reverse of what I have here, who was only trained in will and had what I have in uh, dexterity, which I don't think is a 10. Um, no, I've got a plus two. So I've got a plus 14 to dex. Um, but that could also mean a two on the die, even just once, if they don't have a hero point, 10% chance to just be controlled for a whole day. Well, that is and part if, of the reasons it's two actions, so it's not something it can spam. Um, it does have it does have incapacitation. I did not see that. And additionally, just looking at stuff, like just referencing, so this is a unique monster, so chances are, you know, people will use it as sort of a boss monster. But looking, so like, typically you're thinking maybe like a level 8 party, maybe a level 7. But the Thaumaturge gets resolve at level 7. And so he just has to succeed, and then he's immune for an entire day. Yes, but he's not the only one. Um, Also, Flaming Techno pointed out, uh, Dominating Gaze, it also has the visual trait. So if you do something to, like, shield your eyes or use the avert gaze action, you get a plus two circumstance bonus to your saves against it. Very true. I mean, if others don't mind it, then I I suppose that's fair. I just don't like the idea of one bad roll and the player loses their character, basically, of not being able to control them. Yeah, that is very understandable. And I will say, uh, the main that's, reason, that's player the main agency. reason it is one day is to represent the its ability in the story. Because like it ended up taking yeah. control of an entire town. And had them all like Fair enough. completely enthralled. But also, if the party just kills it, I mean, right. they can't yeah, control it's... you if it's dead. Yes. The best CC is death. Yeah. But, I don't know. So, <laughs> I, I see your point of view. I understand. Zach and Decaf, what do you guys think? We'll, oh. we'll, put, this, we'll put it to committee. I think generally it's fine okay unless you wanted to uh i guess make failure two rounds success one round i'm or, i'm happy uh, i'm fairly happy with where su- success and failure are i i think i can agree to that actually i think the main thing here is the critical failure that is being discussed No, well, maybe we could do something like success. You're you then get like a plus two circumstance uh, to future checks against it, but then I feel like that sort of just steps on the toes of avert gaze, which is you know something you could use against this. Um, well, from just a combat perspective, it's not really an issue because if you just kill the monster, it's not right. The control, to do. yeah, but um. I think it's great from a roleplay perspective. Like if someone were to stumble upon this monster by themselves, like you <laughs> split the party. Yeah. And now they have to roleplay as a uh as a toad. A spy for the frog. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. 
Um, Decaf, do you have any thoughts that you want to chime in with on it? Honestly, I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Then, with that being the case, I do think Fair I'm going to leave it, leave it as is, because there is a whole you can avert gaze. Uh, some characters will have resolve at this point. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure like how most GMs go about springing unique monsters on their players, like stuff that are kind of intended to be boss monsters. Obviously, I spring stuff on you guys because that's what we do. Uh, oh yeah, of course. But yeah. All right, I'm I'm happy with this guy. The only thing I is... might do is bump his jaws up to a moderate attack bonus. I was going to say jaws moderate but high damage, similar to how the tongue is a high attack but moderate, moderate damage. damage. Yeah. Yeah, I do think I'm going to do that just because I I don't know. I think it was mostly bad rolls this session, but I I feel like I only hit with my jaws once. And they did work did, when they hit. You did roll a, a couple time, a uh, couple nat ones even. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? 21 on the jaws to hit? Zach, decaf? Um, let me look at my... my... Your AC? <laughs> yeah. Looks back at my cleric. Oh, no! Like, wait. I think that's one would be fine. Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> I have a 19 to hit, and I'm you know, a melee focused guy as well. So I think one level lower than it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it a 21. Alright, so adjust that to a 21, adjust the wording on tongue drag. Anything else you guys feel like you want to call out? Um, Any questions, comments, concerns? Or what is it? Improves, uh, sustains. <laughs> Spell check. <laughs> Get wrong. Under dominating gaze. I hate it. Ah. Mm -hmm. Good call. I actually don't think I think it's correct on the Word document I have it on. But Okay, cool. Um all right, but if that is it, we uh we might have to actually call it here. I know I promised that we were gonna test out um Moog, but uh we are suddenly down a level 16 character. Did he have other plans? Yes, he unfortunately has something he has to attend to in real life. Uh, so, it happens. Uh, what we'll do is we will schedule Moog for another day. Um, so, look forward to that. Uh, Moog will just be pushed back a little bit in the order of, uh, of Monster Monday releases. We'll just we'll make a promise for another day and then see if that one changes. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> He's a big dude. So thank you, everybody that is watching this now, that came out to view this. Flaming Techno, great having you here. Um, and thanks, everybody, watching this in the future. Uh, we will see you again next time. And until then, be good. See you, Bye. stream. Yeah, toodaloo.